Chapter 3 So Solomon began to build the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem on Mount Moriah, where the Lord had appeared to Solomon's father, King David. The temple was built on the threshing floor of Aruana, the Jebusite, the site that David had selected. The construction began in mid-spring during the fourth year of Solomon's reign. The foundation for the temple of God was 90 feet long and 30 feet wide. The foyer at the front of the temple was 30 feet wide, running across the entire width of the temple. The inner walls of the foyer and the ceiling were overlaid with pure gold. The roof of the foyer was 30 feet high. The main room of the temple was paneled with cypress wood, overlaid with pure gold and decorated with carvings of palm trees and chains. The walls of the temple were decorated with beautiful jewels and with pure gold from the land of Parvaim. All the walls, beams, doors, and thresholds throughout the temple were overlaid with gold, and figures of cherubim were carved on the walls. The most holy place was 30 feet wide, corresponding to the width of the temple, and it was also 30 feet deep. Its interior was overlaid with about 23 tons of pure gold. They used gold nails that weighed about 20 ounces each. The walls of the upper rooms were also overlaid with pure gold. Solomon made two figures shaped like cherubim and overlaid them with gold. These were placed in the most holy place. The total wingspan of the two cherubim standing side by side was 30 feet. One wing of the first figure was seven and a half feet long, and it touched the temple wall. The other wing, also seven and a half feet long, touched one of the wings of the second figure. In the same way, the second figure had one wing seven and a half feet long that touched the opposite wall. The other wing, also seven and a half feet long, touched the wing of the first figure. So the wingspan of both cherubim together was thirty feet. They both stood and faced out toward the main room of the temple. Across the entrance of the most holy place, Solomon hung a curtain made of fine linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, with figures of cherubim embroidered on it. For the front of the temple, Solomon made two pillars that were 27 feet tall, each topped by a capital extending upward another seven and a half feet. He made a network of interwoven chains and used them to decorate the tops of the pillars. He also made 100 decorative pomegranates and attached them to the chains. Then he set up the two pillars at the entrance of the temple, one to the south of the entrance and the other to the north. He named the one on the south Jachin, and the one on the north, Boaz.